As eastern Kentucky continues to battle the fallout from those deadly flood waters, the race is on to get supplies from Lexington to hospitals in affected counties. LAX 18 Sydney Darden shows us how things are going so far. This truck that's packed to the brim inside with donations is just one of the 12 vehicles that's headed for Eastern Kentucky hospitals today. Now with over 100,000 pounds of supplies already having been shipped out, I spoke with both volunteers and workers and they tell me that they're still just getting started. All boxes in the truck. From packing to placement. Light, light, light. Not one box is out of place. As organizers at the Appalachian Regional Health Care Office meticulously load supplies for Eastern Kentucky hospitals. The need is absolutely tremendous. We are providing everything from needed medical supplies, like even basic band-aids, to things like non-perishable food items, diapers, baby food, pet food. With the help of the Sayer Varsity football team, can we get football players to get these cans? These are heavy. Supplies on this truck will head for two large regional hospitals in eastern Kentucky. But while they may have the loading process down to a science, Executive Director of Security Operations Paul Buda says getting the supplies there has its own challenges. Terrain and topography make things super challenging for us. Once everything arrives, professionals will make sure the goods go to every level of the health care system. That hospital will have it broken down, know what's on the truck, and then it'll take those needs and push it out to our smaller hospitals. We'll then push it out to our clinics or even to the general public. But with no end to the devastation in sight, volunteers hope that the donations will continue for the long haul. This isn't something that it's a one time, one day relief effort. It's going to be a prolonged relief effort until we can get to everybody and get everybody back up on their feet. Now, volunteers tell me they're still in need of baby supplies, including baby formula and things for newborns. They're also asking for industrial cleaning supplies and industrial cleaning machines. And starting on Tuesday, they're going to start looking out for more back to school supplies as well. And of course, they say you can never have too much water. So if you want to donate, you can stop by here at ARH offices in Lexington and drop off anything that you think can help people in eastern Kentucky. Reporting in Lexington, Sydney Darden and photojournalist Justice Kennedy, LEX. 18 News.